Hi guys, it's Dom here from the Gimme a Whole Year Wrestling Podcast. Welcome back to a Whole Year Wrestling Thoughts episode. Uh, did we just see Liv Morgan close out SmackDown? Bray Wyatt drags Daniel Bryan under the ring. Sorry for any spoilers if people haven't seen it. Uh, pulls out loads of hair. Pulls out loads of hair. It looks like Daniel Bryan's hair. Uh, but we've seen, uh, there's clips on, uh, t- uh, pictures online. Liv Morgan has just shaved her head. And you can notice if you close in, if you look really closely, eyelashes, the eyes are a little bit different. Uh, when uh, when um, when the fiend or the supposed fiend comes back up uh, from under the ring where he's dragged Daniel Bryan, um, he said he promised a new face. I thought it was a bit confusing. I had to go back again and watch it again because I was like, "That's not a new face." He lied. He told us he was a man. Of, he was a man of his word, but he's actually lied, and there's no new face. But in fact, you can see, and especially when you know that Liv Morgan has shaved her head bald, you can see that this could easily be done. Uh, Liv Morgan's obviously put some stuff on her head um, uh, uh, to look like Bray's dreads. Um, I mean, this is what I think, and I've seen a couple of other people uh, confirm that, but I think that's what's happened. I think Liv Morgan's going to be introduced. I don't think it's a Sister Abigail vibe, but I think it's the best place for her on the roster. Does Bray Wyatt need a valet right now? I'm not sure, but I'm very interested, especially if it's, if it's Bray that's under control in this um, to see how it goes. I'd love to see what Liv Morgan can do in this role. and I'd love to see what happens for Bray and how this alliance is built, especially because it's so soon within The Fiend's kind of uh, creative output in WWE. Um, you know, like I say, the biggest concern I have is does he actually need a valet at this point? I'm not sure, but uh, well, I'm really excited. I'm so excited, in fact, to see what happens. Uh, the Fiend, I think Bray Wyatt had a really strong SmackDown. A couple of appearances. We saw the, the hip-hop muscle man dance with Huskers the Pig, which was really entertaining. Daniel Bryan's got the Yes movement back. That's fantastic. Um, it was great to see a couple of uh, you know old faces. Not really old faces, but Alexa Bliss is back. Sheamus is coming back. So all in all, a really good SmackDown. But yeah, this, this ending... Especially given the speculation around Liv Morgan um, having that role uh, with Bray Wyatt, like I said, I don't think it's going to be a Sister Abigail thing, but uh, but it's going to be very interesting to see what they do here, and also what the symbolism of that hair pulling out was. Was that Daniel Bryan's hair? Was that something else? Uh, but really, really interesting uh, time creative creatively for the WWE and the Fiend. Um, so yeah, um, you'll have to excuse me. I'm really excited about this. I am. Highly caffeinated. It's 4.10 in the morning here in the UK. Um, I hope you guys um, chuck us some opinions. Throw us some opinions on this video. Hopefully it will come out at a good time. And people will, uh, will listen. And, 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 and mainly these things are about people giving their opinions. So please, do you think it was Liv Morgan at the end of Smackdown coming up? When The Fiend goes down, takes Daniel Bryan down. Who comes up out, out of the ring? I mean, it could, it could just be a more effeminate uh, Bray Wyatt. Um, you know, I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, what do you think? Uh, is Liv Morgan now with The Fiend? Um, and what do you think of the end to, to this week's Smackdown? And uh, yeah, we'll be doing some filming in the next couple of weeks. So we'll see you very, very soon. Don't forget to keep it gay.